Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rothenberg, the Principal Investigator of the Consortium of Eosinophil GI Disease Researchers, which is also known as SEGER, supported by the NIH in partnership with uh, patient advocacy groups. EOE, or eosinophil esophagitis, is an allergic disease. It's a hypersensitivity of the immune system, primarily to foods. It's unlike anaphylaxis, where typically one or two foods cause immediate reactions. In this case, we often have a breakdown of immune tolerance to multiple foods, leading to a variety of symptoms that are chronic in nature. These symptoms, uh, particularly for EOE, can be nonspecific in terms of upper GI symptoms that often mimic reflux disease, but in fact, reflux is not um, a primary in, um, driver of eosinophil GI disease. The symptoms can vary as a function of patient age, typically in young kids, it's vomiting and failure to thrive and failure to grow. As kids get older, it's abdominal pain and sometimes uh, vomiting. But I think for today, particularly related to the article that we just published in adults, the primary symptoms in adults is typically difficulty swallowing or dysphagia and also food getting stuck in the esophagus. The causes are complex, but primarily related to hypersensitivity or overactivation of the allergic arm of the immune system causing specific and severe inflammation, typically limited to the esophagus associated with high levels of accumulation of the particular white blood cell called eosinophils. Eosinophilic esophagitis is, is managed by a number of processes, but it typically starts with um, allergic manifestations of the disease, particularly the idea that the food is driving the disease. Avoidance of, of common allergens Typically, the most common allergens that cause food anaphylaxis is used as an empiric approach, taking away six major food groups, and we refer to this as the six food elimination diet. This is uh, often one of the first treatments uh, that's used. Also, proton pump inhibitors are used as, as often as initial therapy. Even though um, these drugs work, the disease is not to, is not mechanistically um, responsive to proton pump inhibitors because of the acid component, but rather the anti-inflammatory effects of the PPI. The other therapy that's um, commonly used is topical glucorticoids, which is an off-label indication in the United States, but now approved in Europe. And it involves taking asthma doses and formulations of glucorticoids, and instead of inhaling them, swallowing them. Finally, we're pleased to say that Last year, in May of 2022, the FDA approved the first drug for eosinophilic esophagitis, which is a biological agent called dupilumab, which is used to suppress the allergic arm of the immune system and treat patients with EOE that are particularly moderate to severe in nature.